Welcome to SNN's Two Minute Drill, where we recap some of last night's best moments from the high school football circuit here on the Sun Coast. Let's kickstart it all at Tornado Alley, where two Sarasota County schools collided in the 2023 Fred Gilmore Classic. Booker locked horns with Cardinal Mooney last night. New Tornadoes quarterback Alex Diaz leading 12 0, hands it off to the A train. Tuda Hunter, who finds the open field for a huge game. Next quarter, Mooney's possession. And Michael Valentino connects with newest weapon here. Palmetto transfer and South Carolina commits to Marion Lang for the big chunk of yardage, putting the Cougs in scoring position, threatening to score. And plays later, Valentino would do just that as he keeps it himself for the tutty and plays like that helped Mooney go on to win this one by a tight margin, 24 to 20 over Booker. And to Out of Door Academy now as Rob Hallway's Thunder opened their season at home last night against St. Pete's Keswick Christian. First drive for the Thunder, the Canadian sensation Jackson Roth makes his first splash play of the year, finding tight end Winston Chrissy wide open for the first down and then some before being stopped at the 30-yard line. The ODA Thunder are rumbling. Moments later, running back Alan Clark would pound it in for the score here, giving ODA the early 7-0 lead in the Thunder. Laid the hammer down from then on, charging to victory over the Crusaders, 27-14. And we head now to the island of Venice to see if John Peacock and his Indians took their first step towards another state title last night at Powell Davis Stadium, Venice. Down 7-0 early in the first, Jaden Glasser connects on the run with Griffin Jassati, who displays epic body control there to stay in bounds for the huge game. Plays later here, running back Alvin Johnson, who is agent zero this year. He finds the end zone, bringing Venice within one point after the failed two-point conversion. It's 7-6 with six minutes left in the first quarter. But later in the second quarter, it's Alvin Johnson here as they flip the field. He again finds the end zone as Venice takes a 12-6 lead here on the handoff from Ryan Brown. Or Ryan Downs, excuse me, and the Indians would go on to win in dominant fashion over Tampa Tech, 48-7. All right, that's it for this week's two-minute drill. Be sure to tune in to Friday Football Fever every Friday night on SNN at 11. See you next time.